Are you sometimes annoyed by having too many easy and convenient ways to take perfect photos? Don't despair! There are a lot of interesting do-it-yourself cameras around, 3D printed, plastic, cut from wood or paper, but basically all of them are analog. Why? Because digital sensors are a pain in the ass. Of course there are other reasons as well, large film planes need less precisely manufactured parts and so on, but I guess the two main reasons are. Why compete with digital if you already got an excellent digital camera on your smartphone? And the second fact is that digital sensors simply are hard to get and hard to use for any single person or small company. One of the results is that digital cameras are pretty boring. Where's all the quirk in a gun? Lens movements like tilt, shift, rise and fall, weird and cheap lenses, lomography stuff, square aspect ratios, panorama cameras. Storage mediums that overexpose all images when you pull them out before they're full. All gun. Okay. So, I can't buy one. Can I build one? Let's build one. Or more like several, because why not? Any camera deserves a nice front, so let's start with wood. I'm not one of those people who are absolutely excited about woodworking, so I just use a CNC machine. That's way more precise than my clumsy fingers will ever be and it sometimes feels a bit magical. Because it looks quite nice, I'm using a combination of beeswax and linseed oil for finishing. I have no clue if that's the best way how to do that, but it smells funny. Everything else is plastic. 3D printing is just incredibly convenient to get something like this done. I can design it, start the printer and do other stuff till it's done. The whole camera is held together by melting threaded inserts into the plastic and screwing it together. Plus a few strong magnets. Next thing, electronics. On the bright side, a lot of complex stuff has become really accessible and easy to use. That's the only reason why I'm able to do these things as a software person. But the one thing that's still a pain, image sensors. You basically have to sign NDAs, order in bulk, sell your soul and you would still need to write your own drivers on top of that. The only way to get access to any decent image sensor at all is to use the Raspberry Pi ecosystem. So that's exactly what I'm doing. This is a OV5647 a tiny sensor also known as a Raspberry Pi camera chip version 1. That's 3.6 by 2.7 millimeters with whopping 5 megapixels. The big advantage of such a small sensor is that it's easy to fit into a camera and that we can use these tiny M12 lenses. Usually you'll find this on security cameras or machine vision stuff. The aperture is fixed and they come with a 12 millimeter screw thread. For focusing, you just screw it closer to the sensor or unscrew it. You can just cut a thread into 3D printed plastic as a mount. You never know the actual quality of the thing before you buy it. There are very few standards and basically it's just a lot of fun. However, keep in mind, not all M12 lenses come with an infrared filter built into the lens. So make sure to get a camera module that has this reddish purple tint. That's how you see if a filter glass is in front of the sensor. I wasn't exactly sure what to use as a display, so I made one camera with an old viewfinder and I made a second one with a tiny square display meant for cheap smartwatches. It looks pretty weird, but works well. So that's how it looks. But what can I do with such a camera? There's one thing still missing. Let's talk about the fun part. The lens mounts. Do you ever wanted to use a tilt lens? That's the easiest way to alter the angle of the focal plane and achieve this miniature world effect. So, of course, there's a tilt lens. Do you know these fancy ways to take architecture photos with straight lines? That's done by using rise and fall. There's a lens mount for that as well. 
Variable focus, that's easy. Even the basic mount for fixed focus lenses can be fitted with a few magnets to take lens caps or hoods. And a lot of other stuff is possible as well. You just need to design and print a holder with a few magnets. The next logical step, of course, is to put more lenses on it. So that's exactly what I did. The only problem is that the camera becomes kinda bulky at some point and is less fun to carry around. Of course not everything works perfectly. One thing that's kinda annoying is that there's a tiny amount of wiggle, especially with these Lego parts. That makes at least the tilt mount unreliable to focus. And I guess I need to add a second button to get a focus preview with a magnified view for getting it really, really precise. But for now that's okay-ish. If you want to build something similar, look at the blog post, link is in the description. I'm dumping all my design files and software in a GitHub repository, but there's no step-by-step -step tutorial, so be warned. I'll link to a few other camera builds that I enjoyed and can highly recommend. Anyway, thanks for watching and have fun.